In El Dorado News Now, heated words last night in the council chambers. The fireworks were over food trucks. Plus, council members approved $200,000 in funding to study in a funding study to firm up the cost of improvements at the Union County Sports Complex, but with stipulations. That's just some of the topics covered in last night's meeting. J.W. Meisenheimer was there and brings us this report. Expletives were exchanged by city council members last night as the discussion over city growth and food trucks set off fireworks. The council voted to rescind an ordinance that requires food trucks to have fire suppression systems until more research can be done about what other cities require to operate. But Fire Chief Chad Mosby didn't like that, speaking out from the floor of the chambers. Just so you know, I, I do object to that. Mosby thinks that the ordinance should stand. It has the potential to burn everybody in it with a flash fire. And so th that's what we're trying to prevent. A council member called for a revote and things got confusing. A 4 to 4 vote with Mayor Choate voting yes to break the tie meant that the council could revote on the previous pass vote to rescind the ordinance. The motion to do that was never brought before the council, so the original vote to rescind still stands. As of now, any food truck can operate in El Dorado, even if they don't have a fire suppression system. In other business, the council voted to approve a request of $200,000 to determine fixed costs of improving the Union County Sports Complex with the stipulation that the property is deeded to the city beforehand. The commission must also fulfill three other requirements before getting the money. For more details, visit MyArchemist.com. Reporting in El Dorado for your Arklamist news source, I'm J.W. Meisenheimer. Former Speaker of the House Matthew Shepard was also honored at the City Council meeting, receiving the Distinguished Legislator Award from the, city's or from the City Municipal League of the State for his record three terms as Speaker of the House. In statewide news, our Arkansas Supreme Court has dismissed.